Hey guys and welcome back to my F1 2012 career mode. Today we have round 16 of season 1. That's the Korean Grand Prix in South Korea at Yeongam. I think that's the name of the circuit or at least the name of the place. And I missed the day of daily uploads yesterday. Can't believe the streak's over. We have to start again. I think that was 34 days in a row where I uploaded. And now we have to start all over again from day number one and this is day number one so make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and let's jump in to this round of the championship also before anybody says something in the comments it's really cold in my room and this it's not supposed to be this large i ordered it in medium this is years ago and they gave me xxxl so as you can see it's quite large just five rounds to go in season one of f1 2012 and it's alonso leading the way ahead of sebastian vettel similar to the gap he had i think in real life after the summer break or at least with about eight rounds to go and hamilton and butter very close together in uh, the McLaren pairing. Battle for third place, that is. Mark Webber, I don't think he's in this championship battle anymore. The three-time world champion from F1 2010, of course, sits down in fifth place. Michael Schumacher and Kimi Raikkonen probably vying for that sixth place in the championship. And we are down there in 17th place. We scored some good points, of course, uh, last time at the Japanese Grand Prix. And we are very close to overtaking my team, uh, not my teammate, my rival Nico Hulkenberg and my ex-teammate person who I replaced, whatever you want to call him, Jean-Eric Verne. Constructors, it's McLaren versus Red Bull for the Constructors' Championship. Ferrari on their own doing whatever they want to do. And we're still in that fight for 7th place. There's rain on Friday. That doesn't matter, really. Saturday and Sunday should be dry. Uh, objectives, qualify 14th, race to 11th place. And it will start here in qualifying. And all the curbs I've noticed have been reprofiled since the uh, previous game. 14th potentially should be possible. We've got the red striped soft tyres. The option tyres are the red striped soft tyres today, which is... Oh, I love how they look on most of the cars on the grid. Yeah, the curbs are much higher. I don't know if you remember what it looks like on 2010 or 2011. Uh, but these ones much higher, so I've got to be cautious of those. As we're about to start our first lap in qualifying. <laughs> and we're going straight off at turn one. Brilliant. Braking is not my strong suit. Okay, first lap was obviously messy, but it's a lap on the board. We can go for another one here. Strange one. It was a really clean lap. I was 1.2 seconds up on the first sector, and then I lost a whole second in the middle sector. So right now we're fifth, and we're slower than all the other midfield drivers. Yeah, it's sector two where I'm losing all the time. I must have just made a mistake, I think. We're 18th right now. Eight minutes to go in the session. I'd say we need to find at least a second if I want to go through. No, I'm... Oh, yeah, okay. Right, that's straight off the track. I need to go again after this lap. Okay, we'll have to try again. Five minutes to go in this session. It might be my last lap. Well, the middle sector was much improved. Is it enough to squeeze inside the top 17? It is. It's 14th place, and that'll hopefully be enough. And we get through in 16th place. It means my teammate Daniel Ricciardo gets knocked out. Uh, but that's fine with me, outperforming my teammate yet again. It's the usual drivers down there. Marusha's the slowest of the grid today. HRT, not the slowest. Well done, HRT, my old team. I suppose all of them are my old teams, really, aren't they? From 2010, 11, and 2012. Uh, but we go through. We need the top 14 in this second session. I don't know if it's going to be possible. Maybe it is. We'll see. Only one new set of tyres. So it might just have to be one run towards the end of this session. I decided to go out halfway through the session on my brand new tyres. With the track not empty at all. But it should be empty by the time I actually start my flying lap. I've gone straight off in the first quarter again, man. I can't get a handle of these brakes. Really, I cannot get a handle of them. Okay, we'll cool everything down, including my own emotions, and we'll go again. Okay, time for another attempt. Let's go. Honestly, a pretty perfect lap. If this doesn't get me through, then I don't think I was going to get through anyway. Cross the line we go. It's 10th. It's 10th. If nobody improves, we are through to Q3. We've done it. We've got through to Q3. Incredible work. Brilliant lap right at the end. Uh, my rival Maldonado goes through. Well, my actual rival Hulkenberg knocked out. But Williams, of course, is... Uh, Toro Rosso rival. The Force India is both out, which is good. Bruno Senna is out as well. So it'll be between me and Maldonado, really, for that ninth place on the grid. I don't have any new sets of tyres to use, though. So I don't think I'll be qualifying any anywhere higher than 10th. Yeah, I don't have much choice here. We'll go for the 86% one. I'll just do one lap at the end of the session. All or nothing for this one and only attempt. Let's give it our best go. Could have done better in the middle sector. Apart from that, it was a good lap, but I don't think it's going to be anywhere near the target time for ninth place and it's not we're miles off the pace button claims pole position maldonado's up in seventh he's ahead of raikkonen and rosberg 
Uh, but he's put it on pole ahead of championship leader Alonso. Sebastian Vettel behind his teammate Weber down in fifth place. We're going to start 10th. That scruff set of tyres, I really did not have any pace on it. 41.8. I think that was... Is that the slowest I did in all three sessions? Potentially. Uh, I did make a mistake in the middle sector, but I don't think I was getting much higher than last place anyway. And now it is time for the race here. We're targeting points. We're starting in the points. I'd like to stay there. So the new race objective is eighth place. Potentially doable. No rain on the radar. It's a two-stop strategy starting on the options. Uh, going to lap eight for the primes, then lap 20 for the options again. Suppose that's what the AI will be doing as well. Yeah, 28 lap race. We've seen the starting grid already. We're starting in 10th place. Let's get straight into it. There's only one more thing to do, and that's go racing. The 2012 Korean Grand Prix is next. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move my brake bias back. I do not want to be going careering into the back of Kimi Raikkonen in front. With the five lights are on, and we are underway here for the Korean Grand Prix. And already Maldonado on the attack past Roman Grosjean, who's had a poor start. I need to pick my braking uh, spot and uh, not miss it. Because it's a very tight turn one. Easy to lock a tire and run straight into the back of somebody. I've made a position up there. Oh, two positions up. Actually, we're up to eighth place. Using Kurz, maybe getting a run on Weber. Boxed in here between Weber and Grosjean. As that's Alonso going ultra-defensive up ahead. Defending from Maldonado, who's made contact with Sebastian Vettel. As into the hairpin of turn three, I believe that is. We go on the inside of Grosjean. Got a great run on the exit as well. Side by side with the other Red Bull of Sebastian Vettel. I'll squeeze him up to that inside line for this uh, next hairpin. A lot of hairpins. I've been hit. I think he's just hit me in a straight line. How have you, how's he crashed into me in a straight line? We're up to fifth place. Lap one complete, fifth place. That's fantastic. I'm holding up the whole train of cars all the way down to about 23rd place. But I don't mind that. The top four are so unbelievably quick. 4.3 seconds to Maldonado in two laps. Vettel's got the DRS open now, but I've got a really good turn of pace in the straight line with the setup I'm using. So I'll stay ahead. Oh, I've just locked up into the hairpin. And Vettel trying to pull side by side. It's the move I pulled on him on lap one, but the German not able to do it. It is slightly concerning my lack of race pace. You can see the minimap in the bottom left. Look how many cars I'm holding up. Somehow, Maldonado is just sticking to the top three like he actually belongs there. He's in a Williams. That's like the seventh fastest car. And Weber's got past his teammate Vettel. So he's the lead red ball now. Vettel's got a bit of wing damage from just crashing into me on lap one. Uh, you're not kidding me. And it's happened again. Weber's just rear-ended me. He's lost his actual front wing. His whole front wing has disappeared. My tyres are severely worn. And we've still got a lap and a bit. Of basically two laps until we pit. And Grosjean have got past Vettel in the background. So the Red Bulls are not having a good day of it today. Alonso in the podium places. He'll be extending his championship lead. Oh, this car just does not turn anymore. The tyres are that destroyed. I've not got a puncture on this game yet. As far as I can remember. Tyres are absolutely destroyed. We're bringing the car into the pits on this lap. Pitting from fifth place on lap eight. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I just can't stay on the track. <laughs> This is a very busy pit lane. I'm hoping we don't lose any time with this stop here. Come on, lads. Let's go, go, go. 3.7. That's perfect. We stay ahead of Michael Schumacher. We're going to rejoin here in 11th place. There's action in the pits. I'm afraid I might lose a couple places from the drivers who were like right behind me before I stopped. But we will move back into the points at least. Down towards the first corner we go. We're still ahead of everybody. Just about. Into turn one, we go ahead of... Is that Roman Grosjean? Yes, it is. Michael Schumacher's back ahead of Roman Grosjean as well. And we're up to sixth place. Hulkenberg hasn't pit yet. He's my rival, of course. He's in fifth place. Oh, Schumacher's got really good straight line speed. I can't stop that. And the Michael moves through. I've outbraked myself. Oh, dear. I'm going straight off. I'm so glad there's no wall there. But the auto break off the track is going to cost me positions here. I've lost the position to Michael Schumacher. Can we fight back? against the Mercedes towards the next braking zone. Another heavy braking zone, another hairpin, and we're back ahead of him. Now, maybe Hulkenberg's on a one-stop, and he's outdone me here. If I finish behind Hulkenberg in a race like this, I'll be, I'll be seething. Schumacher's so quick. He's gone to the outside. And I've outbroke myself again. Brilliant. Two laps in a row. He can't get the run out the corner, though, and I'll maintain that place. 
Hulkenberg's finally gone into the pits on lap 11. So we're back up into fifth place. Oh, Grosjean's so close. And even before the DRS is open, he's passed me. Look at him go. And I'm relegated down to sixth place. Maybe I'll have a go back at him. I don't have any curse to use, but I've got the slipstream. And I'll look to the inside under braking. And that's a position reclaimed from James Early. We've got traffic. It's Carter Kayan. Get out of the way, mate. Actually, I'll get DRS from this, I think. Might keep me ahead of Grosjean for another lap. No, I do not get DRS. Oh, it's okay. Grosjean's miles behind. Halfway through the race now. It's a long race. I'll tell you what. I don't know why, but it just takes so long, the Korean Grand Prix. And once again, Grosjean's got to run on me. I'll jump into the slipstream. See if I can stay at least a little close to him. Under braking into this next corner. And if I can get the run out the corner again, I can reclaim that place. Just like I did a handful of laps ago. Give it a go. That's a good exit. Kurz dumped. Grosjean defending the inside this time. So I'll have to pick the outside line. This will have to be a very brave move around the outside. I'm not sure I'll be able to pull it off. Break deep. Around the outside we go. Grosjean though forcing me out wide onto the curb. Just about giving me enough racing room. And we're back up to fifth. Oh, I've gone wide. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We've still got the position. The race strategist of every team or car behind me must be salivating at the idea of an overcut or an undercut. Because I'm so slow. And there he goes again. Grosjean getting past with the RS. Oh, here comes Raikkonen as well. And it's going to be a double overtake for the Lotus drivers. Oh, that's very late breaking from me. Grosjean, I'm still there, mate. That better not give me a penalty for that. Oh, God, look at the cars behind me. There's drivers in the pits. Uh, it's Kimi Raikkonen boxing. They're going to go for the undercut then. If they're not going on to the primes, then they might actually be on a three-stop strategy. Putting up 17. Yeah, they should go on to the primes and then go to the end. But who knows what the AI are thinking. And here comes the Lotus of Grosjean to the inside. He makes the move up again. He's got it in full revs now. I might not even be close enough to get this position back. This time around, it was becoming routine. And now suddenly, Grosjean has got enough of a gap to stay ahead into the braking zone. And I am actually down to sixth place. That's not the track, James. Pushing a bit too hard in the dirty air. I'm just trying to keep up with Roman Grosjean. I just can't do it. And now Michael Schumacher is going to make a move on me with the RS. Suddenly, he's actually got straight line speed. He didn't have any earlier on. And now I'm down to seven. This is getting worse. We're boxing next lap. Schumacher's tyres are worn. Maybe even more worn than mine. We've got to run here on the Mercedes. Close enough to dive to the inside for the hairpin. And retake that sixth place. Whoa! What the hell happened there? Car just absolutely let go on me. That could have been race ending. There's more drivers into the pits. They're all going to get the undercut on me. I honestly think that after this pit stop phase has been complete, I might be outside the points. Oh, and there goes Schumacher again. As Raikkonen setting the fastest laps. Yeah, he's going to jump me easily if he's setting fastest laps. Up 20 will bring it into the pits for a fresh set of options. And so is Michael Schumacher. Pitting as well. We're going to lose so many places, I fear. There's a three-second stop, and we've jumped ahead of Michael Schumacher in the pits. Fantastic work from the crew, and we're going to rejoin here. Maybe in 11th place, 10th place potentially. No grip. Oh, that's Senna. Right, we're out in 11th. But we're going to have a run here on the Williams, surely. Down this back straight, dumping the curves. No DRS, but that's okay. We got the overspeed side by side with the Brazilian as we edge ahead towards the braking zone. And we've made the position up. That's 10th place. They put worn soft tyres on. Do I not have a new set of tyres? I thought I had one new set. But apparently I don't. My teammates in the pits are up to ninth, And I'm going to be under pressure from Bruno Senna. I can't pull away from him. He's gone to that inside. There's no space there. But he's managed to force his car there. I'm going to dive back up the inside. Into the braking zone. Reclaim that ninth place. And try and hold on to it till the end of the race. Kobayashi has also scythed his way through. Into a points place. Nice one, Kobayashi. Kobayashi just hit me on the braking. I think he's lost half his front wing. Yeah, a little bit of damage there for the sal, but Schumacher challenging Kobayashi. Oh, I've forgotten to break. Oh, no, James, you idiot. Quick, get back to the track. We're out the points. Can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, I was, I was people watching. I was driver watching. 
I've fallen out of the points. Whenever something bad happens in one of these episodes, I always get three dislikes on the videos randomly. So I know you people are watching. Those three people who always dislike the, the videos where I crash. I know you. I think I'll title this video All Aboard the Early Train because for every single lap, I'm just defending. I've got absolutely no pace. I don't know how I qualified in the top 10. The AI is so quick in the race. And to add insult to injury, here comes Bruno Senna to relegate me down to 12th. And now Daniel Ricciardo, my teammate, is closing in. Senna's all over the place, though. Should be able to retake that position. He's been on those prime tyres since, like, halfway through the race. We've got three laps to go. We're side by side with Bruno. We're ahead of Bruno. As we start the last lap of the race, I'm setting personal best laps still, even with these worn tyres. Jensen Button is victorious. He claimed pole position. And he's claimed the race victory. Roman Grosjean, though, as far as I'm aware, has got the fastest lap. Never mind. Nico Rosberg has stolen it. Yep, car's going again. Oh, wow. It's tough. It's very tough. I'm rounding the final corner for the final time. It's disappointing. We didn't deserve points based on our performance anyway. But it's 11th place, which is excruciatingly close to the points. As a Vodafone McLaren Mercedes 1-2. And that'll be a big swing in the Constructors Championship with Red Bull only scoring with one driver. And that's Vettel down in 7th place. Alonso completes the podium. Pastor Maldonado. What a drive from him today. 4th place ahead of both Lotus drivers. Perez, Schumacher, Kobayashi completing those point scorers. Early, unfortunately, misses out. At least we did beat uh, Hulkenberg and... Uh, my teammate, of course, Ricardo, And we beat the other Force India of De Resta. We beat Bruno Senna as well. So it's not all bad. And there's two uh, retirements, Shell Peak and Pedro de la Rosa. Alonso's lead now 39 points ahead of Button, who is now in second place. Hamilton, third. And Sebastian Vettel has slipped all the way down to fourth. Red Bull are not having a good time of it as of late. And Alonso now, how many? Four races to go. No, this, the top five can still win the championship. But really, I think it's just Alonso's to lose. I can't imagine anybody's going to close that gap. Uh, Pastor Maldonado, ninth place now in the championship, ahead of Nico Rosberg's Mercedes after he scored 12 points here today. Uh, I did not score any points. Unfortunately, I thought I could. At one point, I thought we were going to get fifth place, but it just didn't happen. McLaren's lead now up to 39 points. Brilliant for them. And that's essentially put them in pole position for the Constructors' Championship this year as Williams potentially now too far ahead of Toro Rosso. So maybe the battle's just between Toro Rosso and Force India. And my team are disappointed. So am I. We just could not get to grips with the car with the race pace being so poor. Oh, okay. Early thinking of next year. Does that mean we have a contract offer? And we do have a contract offer. And it's an offer to renew the contract with Toro Rosso. There we go. So that leaves us with four races to go in season one. The next one is the Indian Grand Prix. If that's anything like what it was on 2011, I think we'll do very well there. Unfortunately, I made a mistake today. I made many mistakes today. I just could not get any pace out of the car. The AI was so quick in the race. Uh, maybe that's how astonishing that lap in qualifying was that I managed to get me into Q3 anyway. Uh, but yeah, I had no pace in the race. And really, based on that performance, I, I should have actually finished lower than I did. So 11th place is probably being quite kind on my performance. I'll try my best though. I'll try again next time as well. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you. Goodbye.